Hello everyone, it's Miss Sublett. Um, I'm coming to you today to read you a story about a little couch potato. And this little couch potato, um, he has some trouble making healthy choices. And this story goes along with our January theme of making healthy choices. So let's get started. Little Couch Potato by Sarah Sublett. And that's me. Get all these things out of our way so we can get started. Little Couch Potato was a lazy little tot. He didn't do much all day but lay on his orange cot. Sometimes he would watch TV or play on his mom's phone. He never went outside to play, and he always was alone. He also ate all kinds of junk, cookies, chips, and cake. He always felt so sleepy because he liked to stay up late. Little Couch Potato was very sad, super sleepy, and his belly hurt. His unhealthy choices had him feeling just like dirt. One day, Little Couch Potato heard a scary noise outside. He went to the door, but he almost changed his mind. Little Couch Potato saw that it wasn't a scary noise. It was a bunch of little tots playing with their toys. Want to come inside with me? I've got cookies, chips, and cake, asked Little Couch Potato to the new friends he would make. No thanks, they replied. We like fruit and veggie straws. We don't eat unhealthy, so we'll grow up nice and tall. Okay, well, said Little Couch Potato, let's play on my phone. It's fun. Then we'll stay up late. They said, we'd rather play outside. Plus, we go to bed at eight. Little Couch Potato didn't know what to do. He wanted to make friends and try out something new. All the little tots were happy that he stayed. They had so much fun, they laughed and jumped and played. They taught Little Couch Potato healthy choices he should make. He never did these things before, which was a big mistake. Let's go over the choices that Little Couch Potato is starting to make. So over here in the first one, he is laying down on his cot and he's sleeping. That means he's making the healthy choice to go to bed earlier so he will feel good and ready to learn the next day. Then over here, you can see he has fruits and vegetables there. And fruits and vegetables is a healthy choice because it gives us vitamins and the fuel that our bodies and our brain needs in order to function. So we can have a good day. So we can go to school and feel our best self. And then... Over here in the last one, instead of playing on devices like iPads or iPhone, he is playing outside with his friends. And that is a healthy choice because our bodies need exercise. They need to move around. Will you be like little couch potato and stop making unhealthy choices? Will you please go to bed early so you can get plenty of rest? Will you stop eating so much junk food? Now, we all have treats every now and then, and that's okay. You want to have cake at your birthday, at other people's birthday. You want to celebrate, but we just have to limit our junk food and make healthy choices. And then over here, we all know that phones and iPads 
and video games, those are fun, but we just have to be careful. We have to make sure that we're playing outside or playing with our toys more than playing on a screen, like an iPhone or an iPad or even watching TV. We have to limit ourselves. Everything in moderation is the best decision that we can make for our bodies and for our brains. I hope that you will make healthy choices just like Little Couch Potato. And maybe you already do make healthy choices, but maybe you can be like the other little tots and be a good example for one of your friends or maybe one of your family members. You could be a good example to them and show them what a healthy choice is just like Little Couch Potato's friends did for him. All right, everyone, that's all I have today. Um, thank you for listening to my story, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.